I can't do a temperature check about the students if I don't always also think about the parents. I don't know about you, <laughs> but the last few years, I am experiencing a different type of parenting. <laughs> The experiences that we are having, with observations of, of, of adults who are dropping their kids off to boarding school and high school, is it's a little different. What do I mean by that? Uh, we're seeing more of, of parents really um, being involved. <laughs> is that a kind way to say it? Very much involved, so much so that it blurs a little bit of intrusive involvement. And what do I mean by that? Never before have I heard so many students tell me, my parents track my location. And we now have devices, right, that allow us to have that kind of accessibility to one another. Never before have I heard students say, my parents check my emails. And so when you write to me, Dr. Lee, just know that mom and dad may be writing, my parent may be reading as well. It's, it's, it's quite an interesting phenomenon. What we've also noticed that parents are just kind of showing up on campus. <laughs> Yeah, we've had parents who just kind of show up, pop in, check in on their kid, right? They tell me that they're studying, I want to make sure that they are. They tell me they, they're at a swim practice, just want to make sure that they're there. I just want to make sure I know where my kids are and I want to be able to be involved. So much so, we even had a parent hold study sessions on campus without us knowing because that parent wanted to make sure that, that their child was keeping up with math, the class that they were struggling in the moment, and so dad was coming up on campus. And we're talking driving, well, not just down the street, Right? We're talking, you're driving a couple hours to check in with the daughter about math homework and now because they're doing homework with their friends, now we got a study session going on. This is a level of involvement that we're seeing some of our parents uh, uh, demonstrating. And as a clinician and as a parent myself, I ask, why? Why are we seeing this? And why are we seeing even some hostility coming at us educators, coming at us supporters from folks who signed up for us to care for their children. <laughs> so this is confusing to me. Why? And you know what I think it is? Fear. I think it comes from a space of fear. Parents really afraid that their child can, um, cannot keep up with the demands, right? Fear that they as a parent have not done enough for their children, of their child, the last several years, again, the context, right, the last several years. And there's some compensation that parents are trying to do to make up for what they perceive was lost, or what actually was lost, because of the last several years. So my previous slide, the temperature check on the youth, is connected to the, my temperature check of the parents. Right? These are kids who sixth, seventh, or eighth grade have been home a lot. So that level of supervision became something that the family has gotten used to. So then when we send them off to high school, there's a little bit of adjustment that needs to happen. You've heard of um, describing parents as helicopter parents. You've heard that before? Yeah, they kind of hover, you know, kind of check up on you, right? What I'm describing is what I call bulldozer parents. <laughs> oh no, they're not just hovering. They're trying to clear the path for their young person. Yes? Why? There's such fear that, well, I don't want, you know, who would? As parents, that's our job. Our job is to protect our children. Our job is to care for and to provide for. So it really pulls for us to do that. I don't want my child to struggle. I don't want my child to feel disappointed or be hurt or be sad, right? So I'm going to pave the way. And also, if I believe that the last couple years have been a doozy for all of us, I'm going to want to make sure that my child is ready to keep up with their peers. And so I'm going to, I'm just going to, right, clear some of that path. And this is when we see things like parents emailing teachers, how dare you give my child this grade? You know, what do you mean they didn't participate? And educators, again, I'd be curious if that's your observation as well, but we're seeing more of that now where, where, where I stand. And I think there's a reason why. 